Hi, welcome to Blue Prism Tutorials. My name is Amir. This is part 22 working with read stays in Object Studio. Please watch previous video working with navigate, wait and write stages in Object Studio before going to watch this session. In this session, we will learn how to work with read stays in Object Studio to create a Facebook account as an example. Read stays gets data from a user interface element and stores it in a data item. The most common use of the read state is to read data from the fields, but we can also read from the application itself. Let me switch to Internet Explorer and I will show you which scenario that I'm going to work it today for the read stays. In this working session, I'm going to launch Facebook that is browser based application using IE. If you see on my screen that I'm having Facebook as an URL and I'm going to write this first name, surname, mobile number, new password, and I'm going to give birth date and I'm going to give the gender. And then finally, I'm going to sign up by using my visual business object that is nothing but VPO. If you see over here, when I'm going to select, first of all, I need to read this birth day as day, month, and the year. In this scenario that I'm going to use read stays to read the data. Okay. And after that, I'm going to set the data by using navigate stays. And finally, by using navigate, I'm going to sign up that. I will show you the scenario over here by using object studio. Let me switch to blue prism virtual workforce. Right now we are in the object studio and on the object database data Facebook. If you see, in the previous session, we worked with the login on the action one that we have done it, correct? Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a new action, naming it as action two, that is the name I'm going to give it as Facebook hyphen create an account. So that the page name that I have given as Facebook create an account and clicking on okay. Now to navigate to Facebook, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use navigate toolbar and then what I'm going to do, let me go to the properties. And after that, I'm going to say Facebook launch. And then what is the Facebook launch data hyphen? Facebook is the element that I'm going to drag and drop from the application explorer. And what is the action? That is the launch is the action that what I'm going to do. Correct. And then I'm going to say, okay. Now after launching, it will take some time so that I'm going to use wait stays to wait for some time. What is the time that I'm going to give it as? I'm just giving the 40 seconds as of now. And then I'm going to click on OK. If once it has been launched that I want to write the data into these first feed, first name, surname, mobile number and new password. Correct. What I have to do. So for that, I, I'm using write stays over here. So I am going just giving the name as writer hyphen face what are the fields that i have need to enter over here let me click on okay let me go to application modeler so if you see the application modeler what i have done i have for the time being i have added already first name surname mobile number password month dd month date year and gender let me highlight the first name now the Facebook has launched. Now let me go to application modeler. Let me select the first name and highlight it. If you see the first name has been highlighted. Correct. And in the same way. So I'm going to select the month. So month drop down. So that's the reason I have given as month DD over here. Let me go ahead and let me highlight it. If you see the birthday month has been highlighted in the same way. Year. So the year also that have been highlighted gender and I'm going to highlight the gender. If you see the radio box, it has been highlighted in the same way. Sign up, sign up button it has been highlighted. So I have captured all the elements from the Facebook to create an account. Let me click on go ahead and click on. Okay. Now let me go back to object studio. Now, if you see the writer, right? In the writer, what are the username that I'm having? If you see the first name, I have to enter it. That element is the element. And what is the value that I have to enter? 
So let me go to Data Explorer and let me add the text over here, add new child, and I'm going to say it as first name itself, okay? Uh, rename it, and I'm going to say first name. And let me go to the properties. I'm just going to give it as a text. And I, to create an account, I want to use something different, correct? So I want to give some name. I'm just saying Amir. I'm just giving as Amir as my initial value for the first name. And I'm going to add one more field that is surname I'm going to say. So I'm just going to give it the surname. What is the name of, what? what is the properties? The initial value that I'm going to give as P. And I'm going to click on OK. Now, the mobile or email, correct? So here what I'm going to, I'm going to select email as my property. So I'm just giving as email. And then initial value that I'm going to give it as amit86 at the rate of gmail.com. Okay, this is the value that I'm going to give it as a new value, initial value. And I'm going to click on OK. Password. So for the password, I'm going to select the data explorer over there as the password and I'm going to give it the new uh, new item and I'm going to click on the properties. I'm just giving the name as password and the, for the password that I'm going to give it as one, two, three, four, four, six, any value, any value that I'm going to give it as. As of now, what we have done, we have given the first name, email ID, surname and the password that we have given, okay? Now, I'm going to mapping these values. I'm going to match these values for the first name, from the data item, I am going to drag and drop, and also for the add, for the surname, I'm going to select from the surname, from the data item, and as well as the application explorer. And I'm going to add one more value, that is, what is that value that I'm going to say, email ID. Let me drag and drop this email value from here that I'm having mobile or email, correct? Let me drag and drop, and for finally for the password, let me drag, password over here and also drag the elements from the right hand side. So these are all the values that my map and then I'm going to click on OK. Correct. You can see all these uh, data items over here. Let me drag to the left or right because if I want to keep it in in the, in the good manner. So I have written the values in the particular text boxes. Correct. So I have given some time and after that uh, I have written all these values. Let me link them first. Now the main concept will come into read. So what I have to read? How many months are there over here in the birthday and year and month? Over there what is the purpose that I want to read first? What are the values that I'm having in the particular drop down? and I want to train my visual business object, correct? So that what I'm going to do, I'm going to drag read stays over here. Let me go to uh, properties of the, you know, re reader stays. And then if you see, read year. I will say as of now as month. What is the values that I'm going to read it? Over here from the data explorer, I have already captured month, right? For that, I'm going to drag and drop that month DD onto my actions. And then if you see the selection of the data, you are having count items, count selected, get all items, all the things, correct? I'm going to select get all items. And then I'm going to add one more thing for this one that I want to store somewhere where I have to store these values. Store in, if you see the collection values from month DD. In the same way, I'm going to add one more thing, date DD. So date did is nothing but in the same way that I'm going to add all the items and I want to store it in value DD, correct? And also if you go for the year, year there's a lot of items that are what we are having and I'm also get count all items. Also, you know, get all items and then I'm going to store it in these things. So what will happen till now? Let me go ahead and let me click OK. I'm going to, if you see, these are all the collection of the items that what we are having. I'm going to save it. Let me go ahead, let me run the application. First, if, when it goes to Facebook, Facebook launch, it will launch the application in Internet Explorer. So that is www.facebook.com. Now, if you see, once it has been launched, it is going to give the names as Amir and uh, you know surname as P, and after that, it is going to give the email address and the password. And what is the next thing after writing this? So I have to read all these, uh, you know, 
month, year, uh, month, date, year, all these things, right? So now we can go ahead and we can see the values at the over here in our object studio. If you see, so if you see value from DD value, let me go ahead and let me double click. You can see 115 years over there, 115 values over there. If you see the current values, I'm having all the years over here. And then if you go for the months over there, along with the text that you can find it, the month or then the text, January, February, March, April, all these things. So you, now you get the concept of the reader. So if you want to read or if you want to get some values from the application, if you want to read some values, then you are going ahead and you, can, you are going to use the reader stays over there to read the values from the particular application. If you go for value from DD, now you can see all the dates over here. Okay, so this is the concept of the reader, but I'm going to continue it and I'm going to navigate and I'm going to use navigate to select the items. Okay, and I'm going to use navigate. Let me go to the properties. Okay, and now I'm going to month and if you see, I'm going to select an item. What is an item? So for the month that what I'm going to do, I'm going to, if you see the inputs, item text, item position, item value, that I'm going to use that text. So I'm going to give the date of birth. Okay, what I'm going to do for the month, I'm saying September is the value that which we need to select. Let me go ahead, let me validate that. The expression is valid. Okay, and I'm going to click okay. In the same way, I'm going to add one more value that is, you know, date. So I'm just dragging DD, date DD, and I'm going to use the same select item. And what is the value that I'm going to give it? I'm going to give the value as 21. Let me check it out. It's validate or not. The expression is valid. And then I'm going to click on OK. In the same way, I'm going to add one more thing that is for the year. And I'm going to select a value, select item, and I'm going to say as 1986. Let me check it out. Let me validate that. Validate the expression. The expression is valid. Now I'm going to click on OK. So what is mean by that? The navigate is going to be selecting the items over there, selecting from the drop down. From the uh, drop downs, I'm going to select the item as September, all these things. I'm going to train my visual business object in a such a way to select that item. Okay, now let me go ahead and once again, let me add one more item. So I want to gender, gender also that I want to select. Select, set checked. So this is the radio button that what I'm going to do, correct? So if you see over here that I'm going to set check and the checked value, I'm going to give it as true. And I'm going to click on OK. If you see, this item has been checked. OK. And then I'm going to click on OK. And also finally that we're having one more thing, navigate, sign up button, correct? So I'm going to do all the operations at a time. Let me go over to navigate, that is nothing but sign up button. Let me move on all these things. So based on the order, okay, let me go ahead. So for the sign up button, I'm going to click on center. Okay. And then I'm going to click on, okay. Now, if you see, I'm going to link from reader to navigate, navigate to an end. So these are all the operations. Let me explain once again, what I have done it. So first I'm going to launch the Facebook. I'm going to wait for some time to launch the Facebook. And then I'm going to write username, uh, first name, surname, email ID, and all the things by using writing st writer, write state. And then I'm going to use reader month to read the data from the um, month, year, and date. And navigate one that I'm going to use to select the items for the month as 21 September 1986. And then I'm going to select the radio button also I have shown the properties of the radio button, right? I, I want to select the gender over there so that I have checked as set item checked as one by giving the properties and then, and I'm going to click on sign up also. Correct. These are all the things that what I'm going to do. So let me go ahead. Let me save this and I'm saying it save changes and then I'm going to save it. Okay. Now let me check for if there is any errors. What is their uh, expression is wrong data type. For the item checker, we have to give the values a T as caps over here. True values, 
that I'm going to give it as okay. Let me check out the valid expression. And let me go ahead and let me validate it. The expression is valid. Now let me go ahead and let me click it. And I'm going to click once again. Okay. Let me see the errors. What am I having? I'm having zero errors and one or twice. And I'm going to and let me check it out. Let me close if there is any browsers already running. Let me go ahead and let me stop it. And let me run the application. Let me reset it. Let me go ahead and let me run the application. If you see, first it is going to be launch the Facebook and it is waiting for some time. After launching Facebook, it will create, it will enter first name, last name, mobile number, password, and also it will read the data from the DDMMYY. And after that, it will navigate by selecting. It has to change the birth date over here. Okay, this is 21st September 1986, and it has to select the face, uh, you know, male as gender, and then it has to sign up. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to, for the writing purpose, email ID and the password I have given as the 40 seconds, correct? Now, after reading it, I'm going to do one more uh, wait over here. The wait timing that I'm going to give it as five seconds, and then I'm going to click OK. Now, I'm linking from read to wait, wait to navigate. Before going to navigate, let me change the properties over here. So sign up won't want to happen immediately. Let me delete this. Okay, and I'm going to click on OK. And then what I'm going to do, I'm using one more uh, wait over here to wait for five minutes or oh, five seconds. For that purpose, I'm going to use one more wait over here. Okay, let me go to linking it. Now the main purpose is that that I want to show you only you know to read this month and all the things, but still to how to how to create the account in Facebook by using Blue Prism also that I'm going to show you. Let me go to navigate to and I'm going to show you how to sign up. So I'm just dragging and dropping and after that I'm going to click on center and that I'm clicking on OK. Now I'm linking from timeout to navigate to navigate to an end. OK, after that, let's wait for before going to ending it. I will show you how it will happen. Let me restart this application now after launching you can see you know that the username it has given as Amir P and after that uh, the email ID and the password now it has read we are waiting for some more time right to set the data for birthday if you see now it has been changed to 21st September 1986 and the mail it has been selected now what is will happen so this, it is reading and setting the data, my visual business object, and I'm going to select the sign up over here, if you see. So what are the error we got it? We, we are not going to be bothering it right now because of our main intention is that how we are going to read the data from the drop down, and then how I'm going to set the values by using navigate stage, and then you know how I'm going to use signing it up. Okay, now in this session we have, we have learned how to you know read the data from the application or else from the particular fields that is nothing but from the DDMMYY. Okay, and also we have set the items, right? So by reading the data and we have set the data to gender and I'm going to click on sign up. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any queries, please post your uh, you know queries in the comments below. And, we, and I will respond as soon as I can. Thank you. Thank you very much.